Hello, my name is Jacob Parmley, and my topic is how it should be mandatory for children to be vaccinated. I'm going to do my second main point on the various reasons why it's beneficial to vaccinate children. My first sub-point is how being vaccinated doesn't only help the individual that's being vaccinated, but it also helps with the herd immunity. Herd immunity is a type of immunity when a large portion of a population is vaccinated thus giving protection to those individuals who have not developed immunity yet, which would be our children. It provides a good line of defense for them. When you allow children to be playing around with other children who have not been vaccinated yet, you are allowing those immunocompromised children to possibly be susceptible to anything that may enter their system. A good example of herd immunity is what happened in 2005 when an 18-month-year-old Amish girl was contracted with polio and happened to spread her polio to four other unvaccinated children, <clears throat> as Procon.org explains in the article, should any vaccination be required for children on June 10, 2015. Luckily, since the community met the herd immunity threshold for polio, it was not spread any more than that. My second subpoint will be how minimal the adverse effects of vaccinations are. A common counterpoint against the vaccinations with children is how the adverse effects can harm the child and even kill them. These adverse effects are due to the side effects of vaccines if you have an allergic reaction to them, resulting in an anaphylactic shock. The chances of actually going into anaphylactic shock due to an allergic reaction is not very common. In fact, it happens one per several thousand to one per million vaccinations, as Procon.org explains in the article. Should any vaccinations be required for children on June 10th, 2015? It is so low of a chance that you are a hundred times more likely to be struck by lightning than to have this happen to you as Sanjay Gupta, chief medical correspondent for CNN states.